Eagle versus Meridian, Idaho. These are likely two of the top cities on your list when moving to Boise. So let's discuss the traffic, the commutes, the schooling, the housing, and the overall feel of these two suburbs of Boise so that you can better decide for yourself which one suits you and your home buying journey. My name is Brady Fagel. I am a local realtor in the Boise area, and I'd love to get to know you and help you relocate here. If you have any questions during the course of this video, shoot me a text, shoot me a call anytime, any day of the week. If you feel more comfortable and you want to just book a call with me and I'll give you a call at your convenience, that link is in the description. But I look forward to getting to know you. Let's get into the difference between Eagle and Meridian, Idaho to help you in your decision. Starting off, Meridian's location. So Meridian is the central heart of the Treasure Valley. This is going to be about a 15, 20 minute drive to Boise, depending on where you live. It's about 15, 20 minute drive to Nampa, 15, 20 minute drive to Cuna. And then if you want to get into Eagle, depending on what side of Meridian you live in, it can either be a five to 10 minute drive or a 20 minute drive. The population of Meridian is 125,000 people and the median household income is $76,000. In Eagle, the median household income is $91,000. So quite a bit more than Meridian and the population in Eagle is 32,000 people. So quite a bit smaller than Meridian when it comes to the location of Eagle. So Eagle is just north of Meridian and it borders Meridian, Garden City slash Boise. This is going to be along the foothills and the Boise River and your commute into Boise down State Street down Highway 55 is going to be about 10 to 15 minutes depending on where you go and then same into Meridian. The difference is if you want to get to the interstate it can be a little bit longer of a drive depending on where you live in Eagle. It can be a 20 minute drive just to get to the interstate if you need to get somewhere else whether it's the airport or you need to go to Nampa. When it comes to traffic Meridian's going to have a lot more traffic than Eagle's going to have because it is centralized and there's just a lot more people and a lot more growth. You're going to have more traffic when it comes to to getting to places I plan for about 15 to 20 minutes anytime I need to go anywhere in Meridian. Meridian's also just a lot bigger. There's a lot more area within Meridian and so that traffic can get worse. And Eagle Road which runs through Meridian to get to Eagle that's going to be some of the worst traffic in the entire state and that can definitely get crammed the farther west you move from Eagle Road and you get out into some more of the subdivisions the traffic doesn't get as bad and the nice thing about Meridian is that you have a lot of options when it comes to grocery stores or, or errands you just need to run. So you only have five to 10 minute commutes if you need to just run errands when you live in Meridian, which is a nice plus. When you live in Eagle, the biggest issue when it comes to traffic is going to be getting out and into Eagle. So as I mentioned, Eagle Road gets extremely packed and that can cause delays getting into the city itself because it does get so crammed. The other thing is Highway 55 into Boise does get crammed, especially during rush hour. But a lot of this traffic in Eagle is just gonna be when it's rush hour. So your morning traffic and your afternoon traffic. Other than that, in Eagle itself, the traffic is not too bad at all. You're not gonna have much hassle when it comes to that, especially comparing it to Meridian or, or Boise itself. And as you can see, kind of Eagle is more of that foot hilly, a lot of the subdivisions are out of all of the cities, they kind of stand alone. So there's some pros and benefits there, depending on where you live in each city and what you kind of want to deal with. If you want to be closer to the amenities or if you want to be farther away, that can kind of determine whether or not that is a factor for you when choosing these two cities. So Meridian has a lot to do. There's definitely the most things to do on your weekends or weekdays in Meridian. And as I mentioned, some of your errand running is a lot quicker in Meridian, depending on the traffic. But you have the village in Meridian, which is off of Eagle Road. They're building an in and out there. There's Big Al's, which is an arcade bowling bar area, which is also right next to the village. You have all of your major stores. You have your Walmarts, Winco, Fred Meyer, Trader Joe's, Costco. All of that is going to be on your Eagle Road, your 10 Mile and Linder Road. And you also have the water park. You have Wahoos. As I said, there's Top Golf. 
So there's a lot of things to do in Meridian and that's of course just where a lot of the people live so there's more to do. In Eagle, the amenities that you have is you do have two major grocery stores. You have Albertsons and then you also have a Winco and those are both on State Street, but those are gonna be about the only two things you have when it comes to, to going grocery shopping. The things you do have in Eagle is you do have a lot of nice restaurants. There's Coins, there's Crave, which is actually one of my personal favorite restaurants in the entire valley. You have a lot of little boutiques, you have downtown shops. So there's things to do in Eagle, but for the most part, if you live in Eagle, a lot of the things that you end up doing are gonna be in Boise and Meridian. So you do have that added commute. Eagle does have the option of the Boise River. So the Boise River runs right through Eagle. You have the green belt and there's a lot of parks. There's two golf courses. There's a lot of beautiful outdoor things to do. You have Eagle Bike Park. The foothills has a lot of hiking and mountain biking opportunity and those are a big benefit of living in eagle is that you have the things to do in the outdoors eagle island state park is another great option which borders eagle and meridian meridian has amazing parks you have settlers park Kleiner's park and there's walking trails throughout meridian itself but just central to each city eagle definitely has more options when it comes to that now jumping into housing so the housing in Meridian is gonna be a lot cheaper. You're gonna be about a hundred to two hundred thousand dollars less in Meridian than you are in Eagle. Meridian, the average home is gonna be about four fifty. And for most people like you, if you have a small family or you're just looking to have your more typical home, your homes are gonna be about four hundred to six hundred thousand, maybe six fifty in the Meridian area. There is options for luxury builds, which I'll talk about a little bit later. But when you go into Eagle, you're gonna be spending, you know, a hundred, two hundred thousand dollars more on average. And your typical home is going to be that six hundred to eight hundred thousand dollar range. The style of homes in Meridian. So Meridian has your all your typical subdivisions. There's going to be a lot of mature trees around the heart of Meridian, which is kind of the the central lo locations in Meridian is going to be your two thousands, your mid two thousands era subdivision. So a little bit older homes. Your typical three twos. 400 to 450,000, but these are still nice neighborhoods, but they are on the cheaper end. As you start moving a little bit outwards, you get towards some of your more luxury homes or your higher end subdivisions where you'll move into the 550 to 650, $700,000 range. And those are just gonna be a little bit bigger homes, maybe a little bit higher end. They may be built by more Toll Brothers than CBH. And you're gonna have just higher end finishes, maybe a little bit more landscaping in the subdivision, more amenities when it comes to pools and parks in those subdivisions. And then as you get towards Eagle, right on Shinden, a lot of these are gonna be Eagle addresses. So you have Eagle addresses along Shinden that are technically Eagle homes and those are your luxury builds on more land. And then as you go a little bit west, you have Spurwing, which is actually Meridian, and those are gonna be homes that you know you can get into the one to two million dollar range on land on the golf course. So a lot of options in Meridian, but as you'll see in Eagle, it's it's definitely not nearly as many options in the luxury high-end market that you get in Eagle compared to Meridian. When you go into Eagle, the, the prices are obviously higher. So even for your three twos, you're gonna be spending more in Eagle than you do in Meridian. But this is where Eagle can get into like $5 million ranges. There's luxury builds in Eagle, especially along the foothills or along the Boise River. When you come down Eagle Road and you cross Shandon and you go down, down the hill into the valley, uh, of the Boise River. There's neighborhoods in there that are on private lakes. They have bass fishing ponds, which when I was growing up, that was my favorite thing to do was go sneak into the neighborhoods in Eagle and, and fish for the bass that they had in some of those neighborhoods, which is an awesome amenity that a lot of neighborhoods in Eagle offer is just that really good fishing even within your neighborhood. So if you have kids, that's a great thing for them to grow up and be able to walk 10 feet down the road and just go fish in your neighborhood ponds. But there's houses in there for one, two, $10 million. And that's where a lot of that higher end homes comes. The Foothills also has a lot of high end homes in Eagle. And this is where you do have a lot more land opportunity. But in Eagle, if you want land, you are pretty much looking at a million dollars plus. If you want an acre or two acres, a lot of these homes are gonna be a million dollars plus. You can get some for 800 to 900,000, 
But in general, generally speaking, you're gonna be looking at that million dollar price point. The other thing with Eagle that I kind of touched on is these private lakes. So there is there is homes that are waterfront properties. There's a lot of subdivisions that offer that, that have man-made lakes in the subdivisions that not only offer fishing, but you just get a live on the water. So kind of that makeshift waterfront property feel in the Eagle area. Now going into just the overall feel, opinion, and some of the schools comparing these two cities, when it comes to just the overall feel and the opinion, Meridian and Eagle are very comparable. I'd say the biggest difference is, is that Eagle is just a little bit nicer and you're right on the Boise River. You have a lot more money in Eagle. So you have those higher end homes. And as you saw with the median of household income being about you know $30,000 more on average, there's a lot more money and high end living. And that comes with some of those nice restaurants. A lot of the things in Eagle, you're gonna be spending a little bit more money. When it comes to the school systems in both, Meridian and Eagle are both in the West Ada School District, and it's not too much of a difference. I know Meridian has some of the top rated elementary schools in the entire state, and then some of the high schools in Eagle. So Eagle High School is a little bit high, rated a little bit higher than some of the other high schools in Meridian, but they're very comparable. They both have a lot of private school options, a lot of charter school options. When it comes to the safety, they're all, both extremely safe. Eagle is probably a little bit safer just because it's smaller. There's not as much crime or things going on there. Meridian is extremely safe. I'd say where it gets a little bit less safe is when you're right around the Meridian downtown area, some of that older style homes, the Meridian Road exit. And then as you move towards Boise, where Boise and Meridian kind of meet together. So very comparable with the two. The biggest difference is going to be just the money, the, the feel, the niceness. A lot of people love living in Eagle because it does just feel a little bit smaller, a little bit safer, a little bit nicer, and a little bit more convenient when it comes to the outdoors and just being against the foothills and the Boise River. So hopefully that gave you a little bit better of an overview and made your decision on what city you want to move to when you move to the Boise area. And if you have any questions, again, please reach out to me. I'd be honored to hear from you and help you in your journey to the Treasure Valley. With that, I'll throw up another video of some comparisons and some other cities in the Treasure Valley. But thank you guys for listening.